English Highway, advanced. Do you need something, Melissa? Well, Miss Romero, I... You can call me Raven. He can call me Miss Romero. What's up? I'm um, the keynote speaker at my 10-year high school reunion, and I have to make a speech. That's not right. I was valedictorian in high school. Wow. What did you say you did for David again? Mostly I answer phones and pick up his laundry, help him decide what to order for lunch, stuff like that. Mm. Oh, and sometimes I go get the lottery ticket or help him decide what numbers to pick lottery? for the day. <laughs> Never mind. I'll help you prepare your speech. Okay. Your turn. Do you need something, Melissa? I have to do a speech. What did you say you did for David again? Mostly I answer phones and pick up his laundry, help him decide what to order for lunch, stuff like that. Mm. Oh, and sometimes I go get the lottery ticket or help him decide what numbers to pick lottery? for the day. I'll help you prepare your speech. Native English speakers tend to link their syllables. Listen to how Melissa and Raven pronounce their sentences. Melissa has to do a speech. I have to do a speech. Do you need something, Melissa? Do you need something, Melissa? Mostly, I answer phones and pick up his laundry. Mostly, I answer phones and pick up his laundry. To do, to do, do you, do you, answer phones and pick up his laundry, answer phones and pick up his laundry. Let's get started. Mm, pretend you're at the podium right now. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be here to welcome the class. Uh, Melissa, okay. people have to hear you. Speak up. It's great to be here to um, welcome. Okay, not so extreme. When you're addressing the crowd, project, especially if you have no microphone. Just make sure the people in the back rows can hear you. Sorry, I just get kind of nervous, you of know. Of course. Just make eye contact, make a joke, 
be yourself. And no arms or legs or your nose, okay? Can I just be you? <laughs> you mean, can I try it again? Oh, sure. Your turn. Hmm. Okay, let's get started. Mm, pretend you're at the podium right now. Melissa, people have to hear you. Speak up. When you're addressing the crowd, project. Just make sure the people in the back rows can hear you. Just make eye contact, make a joke, be yourself. Can I just be you? May I take a message? Mm -hmm. All right. Melissa should have asked me for help. I know a lot about speeches. I printed out the rules from the internet. It says four rules. One, make eye contact with lots of different people. <laughs> Two, include an opening, a body, and a conclusion. Three, speak slowly. And four, make a joke. <laughs> One of my favorites is, how do you say wow in sign language? Get it? Wow! W O W. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Quiz. Ladies and gentlemen. Melissa has to do a speech for A. Michael. B. A high school reunion. C. Raven's presentation. Melissa? Raven wants Melissa to project so that A. Everyone can hear her B. Everyone can see her C. Everyone believes her David thinks Melissa should have asked him for A. Help with her speech B. Help with his laundry C. Help with her joke. Wow! W-O-W! -W. David thinks he knows how to A. Laugh out loud B. Say wow C. Tell a good joke That's funny! <laughs> Congratulations, you just passed delivering a speech. Now don't lose what you just learned. Practice in front of a mirror. I always do. See you for lesson conversations. <laughs>